and you go crazy. What about your relationship with uh with Lil Reese? I know y'all had, you know, a few Twitter differences. <laughs> we did. Is that somebody you uh you know y'all y'all used to be into? I'm arguing on Twitter. No, not arguing, but he Ah yeah, 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 you know. You know how it be. Yeah, that's it. You know, he tried to think he tried he to felt like, he, he felt to like he felt like he felt like he said he said, you know, her like the gold in this shit and he felt like you was you know some hate shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. That's what everybody thinks, fam. Tell us some of the backlash you received from, from, from the interview you did earlier this year. And kinda, you know, Definitely one of the most viral interviews in Chicago that history. That my brother did. Well, not right, me. right, my bad. Your twin. Yeah, that's my twin. That right. wasn't me. That wasn't me. This your first interview. Yeah, but I... So tell us what your twin had going on. Uh, yeah, can you give us a little backstory on that on that interview? Yeah. Um, Cairo did an interview. Talk. Um, people think he playing. People think he serious. Right. Um, that's my brother. He be tripping. Right. Goofy as fuck, you know. Nigga crazy. But, you know, he received a lot of backlash about yeah. shit that's, he spoke his truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He might, like, he. Do you know what made him speak out? I don't know. He probably was just angry. Just talking from, like, talking out of anger, but speaking the truth at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I know him from doing. I lived with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga, I don't know. I fuck with him though. That's my twin. He cool. He <laughs> know that. I fuck with him. I fuck with him. So you see a lot of backlash. Like what though? Like what? What were some of the messages that were coming through your DMs and your text messages? Uh, I was getting like it was really like fifty fifty though. Like a lot of motherfuckers, like man, the real need to hit that, and a lot of motherfuckers saying you a hating ass nigga. Yeah. I'm like, that motherfucker, like, oh, you don't, I fuck with you for not chasing cloud hole niggas dick. I see what's real, then this motherfucker, oh, you mad because you ain't in that circle, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. shit like that. So if I'm not mistaken, did 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 you? And her grow apart due to you like going back and forth to jail. Oh, yeah, no. It wasn't nothing like that. Cause I heard you say you was locked up when things were changing as far as y'all relationship. Yeah. It wasn't like I don't know. Like on real like I don't know. A lot of motherfuckers were seeing that interview and like they was only seeing the parts like. Yeah, everybody definitely had their own nah, perspective. Yeah, let me tell you, no, no. First of all, though. let me tell you. You feel me? The what shit was viral thought? as fuck. That's what, what you, I'm gonna say. You Look, you. the shit was viral. Like everybody was talking about. It. I feel like, honestly, for real, for real. Like in all Chicago history, you know what I mean? There's never been a most talked about interview. Folks made a status on uh. Ah, on on, on Facebook about the about the interview that went crazy. He made motherfucker never don't never talk about Larissa and them. Nah, the shit went crazy. You know what he say? What he say? What he say? I did too on some real shit. Nah, he but he basically just kind of like asked the everybody, you know, kind of like what y'all think about the interview. Me personally, at the time, I was working at Amazon and I'm listening to people walk through the hallways. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the interview. Oh, damn, this bitch busted. What fuck's the Amazon? Talking about this bitch. I go to the barber shop, they talking about it. You know what I mean? Like, so it was really one of them. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, that's what made me ask, like, like, what made it so big? Like, how did it come to, like, this? Well, well, No Limit Cairo is the voice letting the world know, like, man, this my homie, but he ain't really been being a homie lately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't no, it wasn't never that though, like, you know, it was like, like I said, motherfuckers like took from certain shit from little clips and just ran with it type shit. But in the interview, if you go back, you was hear me saying like, man, I still love the fuck out, bro. 
Yeah. I'm saying, nah, yeah. Listen, you weren't never dissing them. Yeah, I'm, I'm flat. You know, I always get motherfuckers like two sides and shit. Right. I'm like, yeah, I love the fuck out, bro. Like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't never really like did too much shit to me. You know, I was really speaking up for other motherfuckers for real. But me too, though, but like, not for no money shit or no shit like that. I already said all that shit in the interview. Like, I'm saying all type of shit. Like, man, I'm. I'm not fucked up about shit. This shit cause I'm saying all this shit in the right. but motherfucker right. like, man, you said this though about her. I'm like, man, I said It I was said. one part where you said something about her where I was like, all right, now hold on, gang. Hold on, gang. Because you can't get mad at a nigga for what he doing for his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he want to, if he want to fuck it up with his bitch, shit, that's his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get mad if you want to fuck it up with his bitch. You want to fuck it up on your bitch. I ain't even going to lie to him. I don't even remember all that shit. I never watched it like that. Yeah, yeah, I watched it like that. I ain't never watched it. So I don't really, I just remember like I was balancing that shit out. I just know I just let it get put out. Right. I want, you know, I know like one thing I can say about that shit, but like I don't take none of that shit back, but like every shit like, you know, I was like, I balanced that shit out like shit. So can you? I still love, bro, and I, sure. I still had, I still got love, bro, and you know he both with what he did. I couldn't, you know, I just was shit like that. Then like shit with, like you see when motherfuckers saying Juby said this shit, and like the fans DM me, the fans DM me and shit like, man, you fucking with that shit with motherfuckers talking about spitting on kids and shit like that. So I ain't knowing what the fuck Juby <laughs> did and shit. I'm like. Fuck is you talking about? I'm who spitting on kids? Right. They like, man, right. Juvie just said that shit. I call bro like, fuck, come on, fuck. Like, it's between what whatever we said about bro, fuck, that's what we said about him, fuck. Like, we ain't, that shit, all that kid shit over with, though. Right, right. We ain't speaking on no nigga kids, no nigga mama. Right. Like, that shit crossing the line type shit. Like, mm-hmm. Juvie. That's why Ju- Juvie did the interview, too. Like, saying, right. like, he, he bogus for saying that shit, right? That was the one with you? I mean, yeah, he did an interview with us. I, I asked him about it. He yeah. said he had apologized. Yeah, to he her. said he apologized, but yeah, I told bro like, man, don't do that shit. But I had told him delete it first, like, man, right. he made a live or some shit like that, saying playing with broke kids. Right. He, yeah, I'm, boy, go delete that shit. But the fans so fast, they caught. Yeah, me. they catch that I'm shit like, as soon as it go up. But so, you know, let me ask you on that note, right? What, what? Wasn't there some clips that you had asked sixteen to take down? From y'all interview? Um, I don't know. So. <laughs> cause the I reason why I asked, cause he made a post on the story saying that man, if I sit down with a motherfucker and I do a three hour interview, uh, don't nah, tell yeah, me to take some, nothing out. Yeah, nah, that was some shit like this shit was going so crazy. I'm like, I'm like, shit, you can leave all the shit up and shit like that, but like that shit was going like it was. Niggas, aunties, my auntie, yeah. all this shit. I'm like, man, this shit getting lame, folks. Just, I'm like, folks, stop putting that shit out. I don't even get no fuck about that shit no more. Like, I ain't saying like. But he I, do though. Yeah, I ain't fuck. saying. I ain't saying, <laughs> I, I ain't saying I was on some. Oh yeah, I'm. I don't. I'm bogus for saying this shit. I said what I said. But I, did you? So so you made him take down the clip? Yeah, like a couple. Of them. I never watched the shit though, but. I told him, like, yeah, don't drop that shit. Let's stop dropping that shit. I just was brainstorming on what the fuck I said. I just was going off remembering what I said in the interview. Right. I just told him, like, the shit that you ain't dropped, just don't just stop dropping that shit. He like, hell no, nah, I need all this. I need all this. We finna turn up. I'm <laughs> That's how he coming. DJ, you go crazy!